here we have a problem. We want to graph one complete cycle of y equals sine x minus cosine x. So what I'm going to do is look at the coefficients. They're each one. And then I'm going to rewrite this as the square root of the sum of the squares of these two coefficients. So I'm going to rewrite it as the square root of 1 squared plus 1 squared. That's going to be square root 2. And then I'm going to multiply by 1 over square root 2 times the sine of x minus 1 over square root 2 times the cosine of x. So I can see that if I multiply square root 2 times 1 over square root 2, I get 1 times sine x, which is sine x. If I multiply square root 2 times 1 over square root 2 times cosine x, I just get 1 cosine x. So I haven't changed that expression. I've just changed the way it looks. Then I say, OK, this is square root 2 times, OK, what, uh, what angle has a cosine of 1 over square root 2? And that turns out to be pi over 4. So this will be cosine pi over 4 sine x minus sine pi over 4 cosine x. And then I see I can reverse these and make it sine x cosine pi over 4 cosine x sine pi over 4. I have the subtraction sign here. That means that this is square root 2 times the sine of x minus pi over 4. OK, so now I want to graph this function. Well, it's going to have an amplitude of square root 2, and it's going to have a, a phase shift of positive pi over 4. So it's, the graph is going to move forward pi over 4. But instead of doing that by hand, what I want to do is go to Desmos right now and see what it looks like when we graph each of these things individually so you can get a better idea of how this works. So. Here I have Desmos all set up, and I've graphed y equals sine x, and I've restricted the graph to go between 0 and 2 pi. Next, I want to graph y equal negative cosine x, and that looks like that. Now I'll graph their difference, or their sum, actually, sine x plus negative cosine x. So there's the graph that I'm after. Now, here was my first step in that little trick where I take the sum of the squares of those coefficients and take the square root and multiply. What if I graph that function? Look, it looks just like the one I graphed up here. Let me turn that one off and you can see. Turn it off and on. It's the same thing. There's just no restriction on x, so I'm getting all values of y. Let's go to this one. Same graph. Go down to this one. Same graph, but now what I've done is I've restricted the, the domain to pi over 4 less than x less than 2 pi plus pi over 4. So I can take into account that phase shift and just get one complete cycle. Let's see what it looks like if I turn the other ones off that are showing also. So there's that graph, and you can see it's the graph that I had here just shifted pi over 4 units to the right. So you can see all of these uh, expressions for that equation are equivalent. When I look at their graphs, they're all the same thing. The last one here, I've restricted the domain, so I only see that part of it. But the instructions were to graph one complete cycle. So I hope that that um, gives you some confidence in this method right here. You can see all those graphs are the same. It's kind of a neat little method of graphing. But it's not something you'd think up on your own. You have to see somebody else do it first. But once you do, then it becomes pretty easy to do.